like uh, Nuzlocke runs and whatnot. OR, I'm just doing this one playthrough, and then it'll become my shiny hunting game, basically. Of course, Psychic doesn't affect it. I just had two moves in a row. Oh, you just use Swagger, huh? I really hate that move. And the name of it. Swagger is a terrible name for a move. Switch Pokemon. I'm not going to switch here. I'll probably break out of confusion either this turn or the next turn. Okay, good. Got it. So we're done with this, uh, this grunt. Move on to the next one. You know, for what IGN said about there being a whole lot of water in this game, I haven't come across one water Pokemon. I'm just saying. Just saying. <clears throat> it's you! You're the one who tried to interrupt me, Tabitha, at Meteor Falls. D did you intend to get in my way once more? Ugh. You really, 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 really an obnoxious child, aren't you? Ugh. I will crush you so that you never get in my way again. He's not going to crush me here. I got this. I got this. I'll go Thunder Fang on, uh, on the coffin here. I'll go Bite on it. If I have to. Yeah. Sludge, ugh. Okay, no poison though. That's good. I'm always worried about the poison. Never want to be affected by a status condition. Yeah. That changes were removed. Alright, I don't see how that hurts me. Thanks. Thanks for helping me out there. If you're flinching, go ahead and flinch one more time, will you? <clears throat> New Mel. Uh, I'm going to switch here. Uh, I really wish I had more water Pokemon right now, but uh, let's switch to let's switch to Matang. I think this is a mistake because New Mel is going to be a ground fire type, and I am a steel steel uh, psychic type. So this could really hurt if it gets a hit off on me. Uh, it is 6:30 in the morning where I am. I am up late. Been uh, streaming for four and a half hours. I'm expecting there's going to be a lot ahead of me still. Uh, I expect I'll go until noon today. And I'll uh, play the whole game through. In one run. So we'll see. We'll see. Grovile's gone to level 27. Good, good, good. Good gracious. Yet again, huh? That's what all the rock stars are for, by the way. So I can stay up for 15 hours. And then go to sleep. I knew you were strong. What a shame, though. The meteorites we got from the professor, whoever is in the boss's hands. Where's the boss, you ask? Ah, oh, yes, right this way. I hope you can uh, show True Magnus the team. Okay. Cool. This is different. I like this platform here. Oh, this is awesome. The power contained in the meteorites. If we merge the explosive energy contained within the planet's core with the meteorites' power... I remember those eyes and the indomitable will that seems to be behind them. Ah, uh, now I recall. You are the one who defied us at Slateport, Oceanic Museum. And your presence here tells me that you have defeated Tabitha. Yes, I see now. That stirring of interest, as I felt, was not misplaced. 
<laughs> you show true promise. Fine, I will attempt to educate you. Thousands of years ago, there lived a more most powerful being that was said to be capable of creating new lands on the planet. The power, which we call, which we and Team Magma seek, this power, which can expand the landmass, belongs to the legendary and super ancient Pokemon. Though now it slumbers, having lost the source of its power and been trapped in a deep sleep. So what we must do is awaken this slumbering giant. Our research has led us here to Mount Chimney. Yes, here to this very meteorite. If we create the right conditions, we should find ourselves able to alter this, alter this meteorite's qualities. Yes, even into a megastone, even into a keystone. And here at Mount Chimney, <laughs> I should not say too much. That is the end of today's lesson. Now then, I believe it's time we begin, for the purge has come. I do believe that I've made myself quite clear when we were last here in Slateport. I warned you that any fool standing in our way would be met without mercy. I will bury you by my own hand. I hope to you appreciate this honor. I don't appreciate it. In fact, you're going down, Maxi. If that's even your real name. Probably isn't. Probably stage name. Hmm. Intimidate puts us both in a bad position. Um, Swagger's... I guess I should welcome that. Yes, yeah, so I am thoroughly enjoying uh, Omega Ruby as well. Very, very well put together game. Um, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna try to do a review on it. Uh, I don't usually do reviews, but I'll, I'll try to put a review together um, tomorrow or so um, when I wake up finally. But uh, I want to put a review together for it um, because I'm really enjoying this game and. Uh, why not, you know? Alright, so we got it paralyzed. That's good. I'm confused it's paralyzed. Nothing could be better. Other than that... Boom! Uh, well, I switched Pokemon for Camerupt. Camerupt will be an issue. Oh, let's send out Swellow. Uh, Camerupt is a park ground type, so Swellow should be good on that. Uh, we can use, uh, you know, Aerial Ace. Maybe do some damage. Although, uh, I am worried about Fire-type attacks, considering I don't have a good counter for a Fire-type Pokemon. Once I get my Azumarill, it'll be different, but right now I really don't have a good counter for a uh, Fire-type. Okay, and it's a good thing I'm still alive there, because that really would have been an issue. And camera up's down! Quick guard? Uh, I don't want to learn quick guard. That does not sound like a move I want to use. Mighty M is growing. Learn assurance? I don't want to learn assurance. Golbat, I'm not going to switch. Golbat, uh, probably the easiest one to take down of the uh, team here. Just aerial ace it until it's dead. Poor Leaf Blade if we have to get to that point. Nope, but Swellow survived. The aerial ace will do it. Mine him. Copycat. I'm not liking any of these moves that are popping up. And Tang wants to... Yes, I want to learn Bullet Punch. Yes. What is Bullet Punch? 40... Uh, let's get rid of uh, get rid of confusion. If we want to relearn confusion, we'll just find a move relearner, send it over to X and Y, whatever we have to do. Um, but yeah, I, I want to know bullet punch. 
Ugh, you're quite capable. I fell behind, but only by an inch. Oh, so you repulsed the great Maxian battle. Haha, <laughs> you never failed to entertain me. An excellent start. This time, permit me to unleash my full strength. Once you've tasted my Pokemon's mega evolved power, you'll say goodbye to your last shred of hope. Hmm. Yes, this is me. Oh. I'm Mount Pyre. I understand, I will come at once. I'm sorry to cut our battle short, but I'm afraid I must excuse myself. Such rudeness depends reparation. Take this meteorite with my apologies. You may do what you like with it. What? This seems like a ploy here. And I will not again forget your face of the trainer who managed to thwart me in battle. Huh? If it ain't that little scamp. But blast that Maxi. He just escaped us. And he left behind the meteorite that he's been crazy about finding. Can't be. Could he have found out where the real orbs are hidden? That sneaky little scientific so-and-so. I'm always left watching his bony backside run two steps ahead of me. Um, about player customization being down, um, Alfard in the chat uh, said he's uh, upset that player customization is gone. I'm not actually that upset about it. Uh, in X and Y, there was customization there, but I don't think it was good enough. Uh, I think the customization needs to be a lot better uh, than it was in X and Y. And since they've taken it out completely, I'm fine with that. I don't think it was that great to begin with. Uh, if we got better player customization, I'd be happier with it, and I would be happy to have it in all of games. Um, but the reason I'm not upset about it is because it wasn't that great, uh, in my opinion. Uh, if it had been better, maybe I'd be more upset. Alright, so I guess we're done here, huh? Uh, I guess we're gonna head to that town, down below. Is that where we're heading? Jagged Pass. I don't know what's down here. Okay, new Mel. I don't, I don't need a new Mel. Where's the water types, guys? Where's the Azumarill's? It'll be funny if we go through this whole playthrough without having a Azumarill now. Yeah, because I can go up there, right? I don't know. I don't know which way I need to go. I'm just going to go far forest one. I'm not going to do that. What does that do? I don't know. Yeah, you want a battle. I thought you might want a battle. Anybody want a Diamond Pearl remake? I'd like to see a Diamond Pro remake. I'd actually like to see every single uh, Pokemon game remade in the 3D style. I'd like to see uh, Kanto here. I'd like to see Johto. I'd like to see Unova and uh, Sinnoh. I'd like to see them all in this style. Uh, so I guess I guess we're just gonna have to wait on that. But I think I think we'll see it. I think we will. Um, and I actually think Kanto will be next in line, and then Sinnoh, and then even Unova. And I think we'll actually go through that the next three years rather than getting uh, new Pokemon games new completely. You know. I think, uh, I think we, that's what we're going to do. I don't know. I mean, I don't work for Nintendo, but that's my thoughts on the subject. I think that'll be pretty awesome, if that happens. Alright, Swab Blue. Bite. Okay, that was actually pretty effective against this thing. What kind of attack was that? Alright, Bite's gonna finish it off here. I I wonder if Thunder... You hope so? I hope so too. Um, Cause like, looking at this style game, this is beautiful. Like, 